Hello everybody, I guess this is uh, part two of the last video I made since I paused it and it saved it. So this is my charge controller. I got it set at 15.5 volts in absorption mode. It only needs 11 amps to do it, it's apparently. And those panels will put out all the way up to 18 I've seen. And uh, I have it set that high because it only gets the batteries up that high with the voltage I lose between the charge controller and the batteries. And anyway, so it pumps them up pretty good. This whole setup I got here, that green button controls the inverter outside. That's a dual breaker that shuts both of them off at the same time if there's a problem that goes in and out of the charge controller there. And then that button on the right goes to a little fan behind the fridge to keep the fridge cool, keep those gases out. And then that's my thermostat. As you can see, it says 91 degrees. It's really hot. That's why I'm using so many amps right now. I'm running this big fan right here and another fan over there and a swamp cooler back there and the dogs are laid out <laughs> and I don't blame them. But uh, anyway, I'll take you out. Look what else I did here. I got a, uh, I had what they call a power switch up here and it didn't work. And what it does is it flips back and forth between the uh, generator and the house power automatically so you don't blow anything up. Well, since it didn't work, I put my own three-way switch in here. And then to keep from uh, running my battery charger off the inverter and really spinning my wheels, I put a switch here for the inverter too. So that's all, or not the inverter, but the converter. So when I am running the inverter, I'm not charging the battery. So anyway, let me show you my batteries real quick and my inverter, how I set that up. Okay, I got a uh, two Trojan six volts. They're T125 plus. I got them running series here, and they're 250 amp hour batteries. And uh, I had a lot of problems because that negative ground wire there was not connected to the chassis of this motorhome right. But I finally figured that out. And I even got another solar panel with the, onto this charge controller right here to charge my starting battery. Well, why not? A broken solar panel that somebody gave me and it works good. It charges that battery up by 10 in the morning, easy. And then here's my inverter out here. I already had the wire coming down here through that box for the generator. So I just ran a cord to the inverter and then where the switch is, I just ran a little speaker wire in there and spliced into the switch. So the switch still works, but it works from inside also. It's a great little setup. Could really use some more batteries and panels and all that good stuff but you know that'll come anyway hope you like it talk to you guys later oh there's the doggies i think they're looking for me he went outside where'd he go where'd he go where am i where's doggies where's shadow shadow oh was i seeing things oh god dang i can't even see her no wonder you're black you're a black girl i couldn't come here I still can't see you. Oh, there you are. Look, I tripped right over. <laughs> anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.